What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks are going to be like, guy, Chris, where you've been? My God, it's been a long time. And it has. Um, but like I said, folks, I was honest with you guys right from the word go. I told you I probably wouldn't be doing as many videos at the time because, to be honest with you, come home from work, constantly running around at work. And I've, and I've said this before. I go home, I get in the recliner, get too comfortable, don't feel like making a video. But then it gets in my mind, like, man, you got to make these, man. These are awesome. It's like in your blood once you start doing these and you want to keep doing them. So here we are. We got a moon video and we got some Mars coming up. Uh, so stay tuned for that. All right. So this photo here was sent to me from a good friend, Taff Baker. So he gets credit for this. And we're going to have a look at this photo because this is wild. Uh, every time I see these, it makes me laugh because they either sanitize the photo out to make it look, I wouldn't say level or smooth, but they do it to take just about every bit of uh, detail out of the photo. Like I said, call it sanitized, white it out, call it what you will. You'll see what I'm talking about. Let's just get right into it. Okay, here's the photo right here. I'll give you the link to it. It is a PNG and it's quite a big file. I mean, it's it's pretty big. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here. This is not usually the way you see the, the moon. Usually you get to see of Serenity over here. We're gonna go back here at the top left around 11 o'clock on this particular photo of the moon. And I'm going to show you, this is pretty wild. And what we did was, or what he had done originally, was like flip this thing over, right? So you can see it right here. I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to go ahead and do this. And we're going to put this right in the middle of the photo because this is cool. I'm really taxing this computer. It's been a while since I've even turned it on. I had to get the dust off it just to find it. Uh, but anyway, right here in the middle of the photo, you can see, or the middle of the screen rather, uh, you can see the three of these craters, supposed craters. You get the two large ones, one here in the middle, one to the back right, and one brighter one to the left. When we flip this, this lighter or brighter smaller one will be on the right, and the one in the back is going to be just that. It's going to be in the back on the left this time. Let me show you what we got. And you can see here it's Lacus Somnorium, Somnorium, I guess, and also known as Lake of Dreams. And again, there's the three of those right there. Folks, this is what's crazy. Let me just back up here a little bit on this photo. You can see like this kind of whited out, like they spread out these white areas and everything. Try to make it smooth out. So there's almost no contrast in these photos. And that's the key to depth. Okay. And again, like I told you guys before, do not, and I repeat, do not look at this photo, look into it. And I'm going to show you a lot of areas in here that have structures. Um, call them what you will. You're going to see what I'm talking about. Not every bit of them can be seen because of this, this sanitizing going on over the photo, or over the details, right? So let's get into this a little deeper and we'll zoom into this. This time now we flipped it like I said we'd do. And folks, I don't even have to do much to this photo. Just this area alone. Right here. I'm going to go ahead and circle it. This right here. If you look at it, it looks like, like areas around. If I was to see this on Earth. Now I'm not saying this is what this is. Right here. There's one on the left right here okay and if you look to the other side right here and it almost looks like it's got some height both of these look like they got some height now i don't know if this has been manipulated out sanitized or whatever but look at the areas around them which is whiter almost looks like it's land around these particular items you can see this going around and then it stops of course this thing's larger meaning it's tall and we have one Coming off to the left, and another one coming off to the left. Now, let me get rid of these lines for you folks. Right there. Now, look at this area. It literally looks like roadways or something around these objects. Now, go over to this side. What are we looking at here? We're going to look at this right here. That. And what is this going across this way? This is what it looks like it's doing, right? Like this, like this. And what you're going to see is what looks like a large pipe or something coming out like this, okay? Going back in and you'll see what looks like a shadow underneath it. Okay, so this is what I did. All I did was, at least on this particular photo, this is the stock one. I'm gonna back out a little bit. All I did is put contrast and bring down the brightness. And this is what I found, okay? Take a look at this now. Again, going across, like this going like this here. But look at this object. It looks like some kind of large pipe or something coming out of the out of this area, right? See that? 
and this right here. Now, I think this is really wild because these are supposed to be craters. I got news for you folks. They're not craters. But that's all I've done in this, this particular photo. Now, again, this part alone blows my mind. But there's so much more in here, folks. There's so much more. You have to look at the details. When you start using the burn tool, and I mean lightly, you can get through this manipulation, this uh, sanitizing over. You can see a lot, not all, but most of it. Let's get right into it. Look at this one first, and then we'll get into this more. Now, I'm going to zoom way in so you guys can see this. To me, this breaks up on my screen, but I understand a lot of you folks have the smaller screens you're looking at. Now, again, I can't circle every single thing, but just a couple things I want you to notice. Again, what looks like this weird pipe type thing sticking out of the, coming off the ground or coming out right here, and it has a shadow underneath it. Okay, right about here, you can see that. Let me just make this line just a hair bit bigger. Okay, um, and again, right here. And what looks like this is almost like a bridge going from one to another. How is this possible? Okay. All right, let me back up a little bit. Notice these long areas, which are now brightened up. You can see it right here. I'm going to go ahead and draw a line around this. Folks, come on, what is going on? Again, this area right here, and it looks like a structure that's on the right, right here, or could be both have structures. And again, these have been kind of manipulated over. So, But I want you to take a good look at this. Again, to the left, we've got this one line. Stick it out. And another one right here. And you can see it right here. Okay? you got the both of them. Look at the height of this area here. Almost like a wall that's been built up. Okay? Right here. I'm going to draw a line up and down line. Right, right here. There's height to this. Now, let's have a look over here to the right. Folks, the stuff that's in this photo is insane. Now, I'm not going to stay on this one too long because I've got one that's a little bit less color, brightened up areas, so on and so forth. Take a look at these things right here at the bottom. And again, we're going to show you the photo. It's a little bit better. And these things are brightened up. Right? Okay. Let's get into this. And folks, these objects are all over this photo. Just this area alone. We can zoom into this a hair bit. And you can see this. This is wild. This is supposed to be a crater. But what are we looking at right here? You can see these objects right here sticking out. One. And two. Also, take note of this area right here. Not only the supposed crater, but what is this object here or objects? Okay. All right. Now let's back out and have a look at the top where we were at earlier. Folks, this is crazy. Some of the stuff that's in this photo start here at the left. We have these objects, which look multi-level can clearly see they're off the ground, right? I'm just going to pan from left to right, and we're going to get to the main area where we want to be in. Also take note of these half round pieces up here on, on the top of the photo. There's two of them. Okay. We have what looks like long, maybe transportation tubes. Of course, this is pure speculation. But folks, look at this. Here's this area I was telling you about earlier. Okay, we're going to go ahead and zoom into that. Right here, you can see these objects on platforms, just to name a few. You got this piece here. I'm not even sure what this is. And look at the shape of it when you do see it. You can see it coming out, going this way, going across, going back down, so on and so forth. See that? Now, at the top here, supposedly, these are supposed to be some kind of craters, and clearly they are not. 
You can see this. Not even sure what they even make of half the stuff that's here. But I can tell you one thing. These are not natural. I'm doing this freehand so it looks a little sloppy, but yeah, what I'm showing you here. But folks, again, going across, up and over, we have this piece here. Goes up and looks like it goes over and has what looks like this pipe object sticking out. And you can see it's off the ground, whatever this thing may be. Not sure what to make of it. And it's got a shadow underneath. Right about uh, right there. See that? I'm going to zoom into it. And you can see what looks like raised objects in the back. What looks like a tower right here. You guys have seen this yet. Right here. Okay. You can see this objects or objects. You can see that this is multi-level. Whatever this thing is right here. And clearly this thing is off the ground. You can see the distance from the bottom here to the top. See that? You can see the distance. Move over here to the right. Again, you can see like half of the objects. Sometimes you can't see all of it, but you can see it is half. If I'm going to guess 40 to 50% of the objects that are here, that to me is absolutely crazy. Look at the objects back here. All in the back. And they've done their best, folks, to actually try to get this stuff out of the photo by just simply making it, again, sanitize over it so that you don't have any depth to the photo. Take out most of the, the darker areas, the contrasted areas, and guess what? You've got no depth. You can't see it. It's all whited out, basically sanitized. And, folks, right here looks like another cylindrical object right there on a platform. You can see the platform right here. I'm going to try to do this freehand, so I'm going to probably make this sloppy. And it's sitting right there on top in the middle of it. Other objects. And it looks like it has these little supports right here. And if they're not, that's fine too. But I find it hard to believe all of these details in this photo, natural lunar surface, Nothing more than little hills, all craters. They're not craters, folks. You can actually see things inside these craters, like the one on the left here. Now, what they are, I don't know. Definitely not craters because we have what looks like bridges or something going back and forth to these objects. Is that possible? I want to show you this right here. And as always, folks, just pause it anywhere and have a good look with a magnifier if you're on a smaller device, whatever works for you. I'll bring it down here a little bit. Like I said, I'm just going to move over, pause it a little bit, move along. There's just so much in here, folks. To, to actually point out every single thing, it'd be a three-hour video. <laughs> we don't want to be doing that. Although I wouldn't mind doing one because it's been a while since I've been on, and I apologize for that, folks. We have this long area, as you can see it right here. I'm going to just go straight across. But you can't see all of it because, again, it wasn't intended for us to see it. Bring it down. So I see what looks like roadways. I see things that it just doesn't make sense. You should not see this stuff on the moon. Hills, I don't care about. Craters, obviously. Boulders, rocks, whatever the heck. Yeah, of course. Makes sense. But really, really get into these photos. And there's some crazy, crazy things in them. This area here alone. None of this looks natural. So is it possible that they fly from point A to point B as opposed to drive? Or do they do that too, meaning like maintenance vehicles? 
Now, again, this is pure speculation. I've always said this because there's no way to vet any of this. And there's no way to just say, yeah, we can confirm that. We just can't. I'm going to leave this photo right here, folks. I'm just going to back it out just a hair bit more. I'm going to let you folks be the judge. What are you seeing? And do you think there's absolutely an alien civilization here? There you go. Folks, 100%, there was a civilization on this moon. Now, everybody has a different opinion, and I'm cool with that. I believe, again, the Apollo mission started off collecting information, collecting maybe samples of metals, different other technologies, what have you. And I don't think they ever stopped going just because they said, oh, we went to you know Apollo 17 and stopped right there. In my opinion, and I've said this many times, I think they kept going. But by telling everybody, oh, by the way, there's no funding, whatever the case is, everybody just drop it and be done with it. That's not the case. Um, I believe this has been going on for years, and they probably have a base on there. I'm sure of it. And they're just checking out all this technology up there. How would you and I know if they're there or not? We wouldn't. Unless you have inside information, which I do believe they are on the moon, and I think you guys would agree with that. Anyway, folks, as usual, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. I'm always curious to see what you folks have to say. Please like and share the video. It helps the channel with the algorithms, if you know what I mean. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube will share it. Anyway, folks, got more coming up. Like I said, I got another Mars video. Stay tuned, and we'll have more for you. Anyway, for now, peace. We'll see you soon.